Okay, let's give that one more go. Yeah. This time I'm properly recording. I need to check that more. Okay. So, luckily, know some of these things. But yeah, there's this panel here, but I can't actually do anything with it. It doesn't it doesn't interact. Ah, oh, funny. I can see the outline of what's supposed to be there. But I can do nothing with it. Welcome, hmm. Dr. Zor. <gasps> you were Zor all along. <laughs> Seriously, though. Remember what you're after, Agent. It's the death engine. Okay, I'm just standing up for a moment. Dang it. There we go. Gas mask. Done. Let's take a look at this again. Data slot activation panel navigation control. I don't think that really has what I'm looking for. Oh. Oh. Hmm, that's interesting. I think this is the 0101 that we're looking for. Problem is... Where and what? Where's the 0 and the 1? How do I get them to light up? Hmm. Because it ain't that. <sighs> I hope the butts it has nothing to do with that and is timing really. Oh. oh, that's supposed to be rock. That's what it is. Let's see. Anything... My own chairs in the way. Because we know about that. Attention, Dr. Zor. Yeah, he burned that. Anna Villanova. Professor X ray. Charlie Caliente. See, I feel like Daniel Sands and X-Ray might be a reference to like 1 and 2 and stuff. Yeah, so Sans would be a 0, X-Ray would be a 1 and a 0. But Hivemind, Charlie Caliente, and Anna Villanova are not... Oh. Spanish class mandatory. That would be a very weird hint. Question, can I put this on? Aha! Let's actually put that back on. Ah, uh, question. So 0101. We know about that sucker. Well, question. Bust it out and see where it goes.
Okay. Well, that didn't quite work. Oh. I, oh. The heck? Couldn't interact with that before. Okay, so... No, that doesn't do, do anything. What, what the heck does this do? Break that. Yeah, maybe? Aha! Oh! Ah, the purring of a combination lock mechanism. Unmistakable. Sometimes I do miss field work. Okay. Clever. There we go. That's open. Unauthorized death engine use. Notifying security personnel. Lockdown mode engaged. Notifying death security engine. personnel. That's the target. intel we need. Tokyo. Now, find a way to get it out of there in time. Location already targeted. Spanish class mandatory. Targeting Madrid. You think the hive mind has you more? Engaging evacuation mode. Death engine activated. Okay. Systems, you drill the hole and get out normal bars, and then, oh, we're cool. Make sure you drill the hole big enough for bees. I oh. with my little eye something that is me. <laughs> no, my bees. You will ruin the day, agent, that you cross the hive mind. I am unsure. Oops. Oh. Got it. I guess I'm good. Did I get it? That was a lot easier. I feel like I bumbled through that one, but hey. Work, agent. Our extraction team is standing by as you figure out how to land your flying armchair. All right, I got it. Well got the done, intel. Retrieving the death engine intelligence agent. Now, we just have to wait for it to be decry- No, oh, it's already in the door slot. Looks like the team in decryption is taking their job seriously. Unlike someone I know. So Smokey the Bull, to be or not to be. It's what plants crave. Speed run, all falling into place. Musing. Oh, I see. We're just dumping those there. All right. How much do we even have left of this game? Maybe we're almost done. I don't know. The data rail you retrieved from Madrid revealed that the death engine is a weapon that appears to be, well, in Earth's orbit. You must infiltrate Zorax's space corporation. We don't know where the weapon is aiming, but we must stop it before it fires. You took a pass-fail elective in astronomy, yes? Well, I hope you passed. That's not even confidence-inspiring. Most definitely isn't going to... Astronomy has nothing to go... Oh. When I said infiltrate, I didn't think you'd hijack a personnel shuttle. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Our intelligence tells us the death engine is run by a single Zoraxis operative who will likely mistake you for a hench person. Remember, Agent, destroy the death engine at all costs. 
personnel shuttle, you're cleared for docking. Come in, shuttle. Hello? Of course, they sent me an assistant at the worst possible time. Brace for impact! Self-engine activation. Is that a countdown I'm hearing? What could... Oh, my God! Surviving the next blast are, well, low. Where's that camera feed? Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. This is that engine Commander Solaris. Clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zaraxxus personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Okay, so... Gonna put that there. Anything else? Well, if the toilet is giving you trouble, I'm not sure what hope you've got. So the fuses are busted. Those fuses are gone. Do we have any other fuses? Or anything? We had orange drank. We have this. We have... I don't see a need to mess with gravity. Not that you can with the circuit off. Okay. Okay. Do I have... in one of space internships. You need oxygen to live. Yeah, I don't know how to get to oxygen. Automatic computer? Who wouldn't want to do their own computing? Well, okay. So, let's try that one again. It's so obviously ran out of oxygen. I only have one fuse available. Remember, Agent, destroy this station at all costs. Is that thing firing? They must have noticed your... Uh, isn't she something? It never gets old to see her fire. Note to self, check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. Chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. Where's that camera feed? Oh, not that yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. This is that engine Commander Solaris. Clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Automatic computer? Who wouldn't want to do their own computing? Oh. Power still on. I didn't... Oh. Remember, Agent. This station must be destroyed at any cost. I do believe the best way to destroy the death engine... Yet. 
I see. This is Death Engine Commander Solaris. Clearance two zero R seven. Okay, so that's gravity. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Doctor Zor, uh, what a uh, unexpected surprise. Obviously. That's hardly my problem, is it? I'm listening to her, but also... Oh, so she actually knows I'm an agent. Okay. I am very confused. One, four, three, three. You see news? X ray has orange juice. Personnel shuttle. So. That solves that. There's gravity control, but I don't know what that does. Look like there's anything there for me to work with. The very nope. It's a very finicky system. Cause I need something to plug in there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of just reading on this one. Fuse box. Fuse box contains fuses protecting the, the major circuits. Always shut off power before placing fuses. Prevent damage to the shuttle only. Use type OR fuses. Life support offline. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Gravity control offline. Gravity direction. Gravity crystal. Major vectors can be set to affect gravity in all connected craft interiors. Power down system before replacing gravity crystal. Auxiliary circuit supplies power to the universal socket plug in the console, so that. But we haven't found anything like that. Airlocks. So we figured out airlocks. So Just keep that, that turns that off. What did that do? I have no idea, actually. Unless... That's probably auxiliary power, maybe? That's... Oh, wait, no. It's not powered. Okay, so that's the auxiliary power. And this is gravity control. that do? Whoa! Oh! Oh!
Okay. True. It would be easier to see if I didn't have the blast door in the way. All right. Turn the power back on. Okay. Okay, that's easier. Ah. So that kind of worked. I understand how this goes now. Remember, Agent, the death engine must be destroyed at any cost. This is screwy. Honestly, we're not quite sure what the death engine is even doing. Well, he's quite dead. Probably. Leave that there. Take this out. Move that there. Oh. Right. Yeah, I totally forgot about the hole. I was too distracted trying to get the other thing open. It, that uh, Okay. I'm just going to leave that there preemptively. Destroy the death engine at so when does this open? Does it just open? Oh, yeah, there it goes. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Note to self. Targeting module oh. needs to be recalibrated. Don't know how that happened. Note to self. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. Where's that camera feed? Ah, oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. That's not what I wanted. Engine Commander Solaris, clearance two zero R seven. Yes, they're here now. What? There we go. I don't even know how this works. But that's okay. Yes, I can wait. Okay, I believe we're good. So that is up and down. Okay. Gravity controller. What do you think that's going to accomplish? Huh? There we go. Got it. Thank you, Shell. Though I was I was pretty much like right there. Whoops. How the heck am I supposed to because get to that? Does <laughs> I get radiation like immediately? Oh, yeah, that's a good point actually. Hold on. Okay. Close that. Open this. Okay, radiation is fine. We want to go down to Z-Mail. Let me see a clock. 
2357. Turn that off. That's probably a good point. Okay, close that. Turn this back off. Grab this. Move this here. Turn this back on. Can't. I, I have no idea how to control that thing. Damn it! Uh, well, at least I understand what I'm doing now. Now I just gotta do it. Remember, Agent, mostly. This station at all costs. Is that okay. Countdown I'm hearing? What could... oh, Grab fine. this. This again. Man, I could do without the everything going red. Grab this. Grab that. Close that. Open that. Grab these. That's fine. This is Dev Engine Commander Solaris. Clearance two zero R seven. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zaraxxus personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Hello? Start the door. What? Okay. There we go. Well, well, well. You're fine. Grab that. Oh, Turn the power back up. Agent? It's really hard to talk over her, <laughs> but that's okay. Oh. I'm confused. Oh. Apparently, if I go fast enough, it's just zero, 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 zero. Where am I? Uh oh. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Blowing up the death engine is guaranteed to kill. Let's see, I don't know if I'm getting that back. Yeah, but how do I stop that? Destroying this station will set humanity back a generation's worth of scientific progress. Oh. It's not letting me use the arm anymore, period. There we go.
There we go. I don't know. I think I was supposed to die there. Be seeing you, agent. I can't really tell if I did that right or not. I think I succeeded. I th I think I was supposed to do a heroic sacrifice at that. For that, I I don't know. I mean, I got the credits, so I think that was right. That was definitely confusing. I was having trouble manipulating the arm, and I was trying to figure out if there's anything left for me to do. Uh, but I guess not. One way or another, that actually quite possibly is the best VR game I've played. I mean, for the most part, it's just an escape room, but it was kind of fun to just, like, mess around. I don't get to play a whole lot of escape anything, so, and so actually getting, getting the ability to kind of mess around in a, you know, uh, definitely a parody-style, like... James Bond-esque game. Obviously, the end was a little... Eh, but, you know what? Whatever. It feels like there probably, maybe, is more that they wanted to do. Because we never actually got to interact with the... Um, we never really got to interact with Zor. From what I know. Whoops. Do not press that button. Do not press any buttons. A lot of people worked on this game. Oh, a separate cast for every single one. I liked Hive Mind. Hive Mind was funny. You know, not to be. The answer is always B. Now, I think this game is available in both VR and not VR, so if you want to just play this point and click, I think you're more than more than capable of doing so, which is cool. Not that I'm particularly motivated uh, to play this again. Ah, we'll, we'll return. Maybe. I think they've been updating it. So there is that. You've finally done it, Agent. You're dead. Well, officially dead. Not to worry, this is a development we plan to fully take advantage of. I dare say it was a close call for us down here as well. Still, all's well that ends well, though I must confess, I really did expect you to die. Ah, huh. so it's all you meet. Orange picking, stop and go potty. Interesting. I am not sure how to get any of these achievements, but that's okay. Anyway, what is this? This is, a, this is a commentary bubble. The button you just pressed toggles them on and off. They are now on in all of the puzzles, as well as this room. They contain interesting developer tidbits. For instance, the time frame with the art style we were going for was late 50s, early 60s. You know, the prime spy era. Of course, we needed to fudge the technology here and there. For instance, Zor's retina scanner was conceived of in 1935, but the first working one wasn't until the early 80s. But this button and this radio are period specific. Oh, huh. that's fun. I'm not going to go into the puzzles and listen to the commentary, but I might as well listen to this stuff here. Another thing we wanted to keep in mind was close interactions versus far interactions. Sometimes far interactions can set up a grand scale of things, but really it's the close interactions that work the best in VR. Freezing things and being able to look all around them is really cool. Being up close and personal is more fun in VR. One of the problems we had to solve on I Expect You to Die was objects getting hidden behind other objects in a level. Players would constantly lose objects behind desks and chairs while solving the puzzle. Using physics raycast against every object in the scene to determine if the player can see it wasn't a viable solution due to performance concerns. Instead, we came up with an approximation called hidden volumes. A hidden volume is essentially a trigger volume that does two things when an object falls into it. First, it applies a special extra shader to the object so that it can be seen through other objects. And then, it puts the object on a separate physics layer, which allows the player to highlight and pick up objects through other objects. Can I die here? No, it doesn't look like I can die here. But what about 
What about now? It looks like I am fine. Everything is fine. The reticle is a crucial part of I Expect You to Die. In the game, the reticle moves in 3D space based on the level's okay. grid geometry. We scale the side. The reticle is a crucial part of I. Expect I was hoping I could stop that. Okay, there we go. That's that's how we stop that. So I guess I'm just gonna kind of hang out here. Um, did that? Did you die? In the game, nope. the reticle moves in 3D space there, and based on the. There's no way for me to stop this. We scale the size of the reticle to avoid drastic changes in size as it moves around in the world. The further the reticle is from the player, the higher the scale factor that is applied to it. And by doing this, we are able to maintain a fairly uniform reticle size. We position the reticle in this manner so that the reticle is at the same depth as the object the player's eyes are converging on. Not doing this causes a doubling effect on the reticle that is unpleasant. Okay, I think I'm going to avoid the dev commentary. I think that's more useful if you're, if you yourself are planning on designing a game like this. But as it stands, it's, you know, more kind of background detail than anything. Trying to get it to look. Alright. Well, that's fine. Anyway, this is a fantastic little game. I rather enjoyed uh, sitting down and actually playing a game that, yeah, I mean, realistically did not need to be VR. But it was enjoyable all the same. I wonder what these trophies are. Probably the maybe speed ones, or maybe if you get all of the challenges in a mission. I'm not entirely sure. Not super passionate about that, but that's okay. I had a lot of fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as, as much as I did, and eventually, hopefully, we'll get a couple more uh, missions to, to tackle and, you know, maybe kind of close this sort of story off. Because, I don't know. This is really cool. But for now, I'm going to go eat some food and then lie down. Because no matter what, VR makes me feel a little sick. Luckily, I didn't have to do any moving, so it wasn't so bad. But, uh, you know, still feel a little bit, a little bit out of it. Just like I was saying, thanks for watching. See you next time.